Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let's talk about it because, you know, me, like many of you, I wasn't surprised at today's announcement. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. You remember back in um, August of 2021, sixth and former President Lungu wrote to the Secretary uh, of the Cabinet there, at the time it was Mr. Simon Mitty, informing uh, Cabinet that Ralungu had withdrawn from active politics and that he was no longer interested in active politics. With that letter, with the stroke of his pen and his signature, immediately the presidential benefits began to kick in. A former president, I tell you, a former Zambian president lives in the lap of luxury. A former Zambian president lives in a palatial arrangement. From that moment on, the president's security, uh, fuel, transportation, uh, staff, you know, people that work for him, a secretary, uh, uh, office personnel, uh, everything's taken care of by the state because you deserve it. As a former head of state, when you serve uh, the Zambian people, whether you served one term or two terms, it doesn't matter. As long as you served and as long as you are referred to as former president, you get all these beautiful benefits. 80% of the current president's salary, you get Shingirafia. Uh, your medicals are taken care of. Once a year, you get to choose any destination in the world. You can go to Paris, France. You can go to the Bahamas. You can go to Haiti. You can go to Honduras. You can go anywhere in the world. The state will pay for it. Why? Because you are a former head of state and you deserve it. So here it is. Balungu began to receive these perks but then we began to hear the bleeding of the sheep the word of God calls it the bleeding of the sheep uh, for those of you Pentecostals you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say bleeding um, bleeding bleating the noise the sound Chinese whispers <laughs> we began to hear and and for a long time especially here on this platform we've been saying it I've been saying it I know I've been saying it from the very very beginning as long as we felt that President Lungu was not absolutely adamantly clear about his position we always felt that President Lungu was playing a sneaky hand into into ensuring that he makes his way and snakes his way back to the position of active politics and sure enough you know, several, about a year ago, for almost 10 months, I, on my platform, I kept on saying this. I said, if President Lungu is not emphatic, if he's not clear, if, if he doesn't make absolutely certain about his position, if he doesn't make his position known, it is a clear indication that he's making headway to try and retain the position of president of his uh, faction, the, the notorious patriotic front. We made that very clear. And we could see from the writing on the wall, with the appointment of people like uh, Ra Rafael Savimbi Nagachinda, uh, Boman Lusambo jumping on board. We could tell with all these people that were surrounding ECL, the writing was on the wall that that was his goal. That was his focus. And then we began to hear the phrase, when you heard that phrase uh, uh, at, the, at, at the base, in America they call them the base, in Zambia we say the grassroots, 
when the base when the PF base because you know every political party has a base the UPND has a base a base meaning they have their grassroots loyalists the PF has their base their grassroots loyalists the PF base the PF loyalists began to use this phrase meaning he will return he will come back and for many people would ask President Lungu pointedly are you coming back are you not he was always ambiguous with it in fact at one stage he made it abundantly clear that I uh, those in fact the quote was those that are advising me to return to active politics are advising me wrongly he made that very clear well the truth is the people around ECL were not going to take that position they were going to compel him by hook or by crook for their own survival they were going to make absolutely and doubly certain that he returns not for the sake of Valungu but for the sake of their survival for the sake of the survival of Rafael Nakachinda for the sake of the survival of Bowman Lusambo for the sake of the survival of Given Lubinda for the sake of survival of Avaimanyo Mwamba and many others within the PF that was the modus operandi that was the MO so don't be deceived don't be misled don't be hoodwinked this is all about self-protectionism and self-preservation so here it is today uh, the PF was supposed to eulogize they were supposed to come together and remember that gallant soldier Michael Chilufiasata the forebearer the patriarch the father of the NPF the originator of the NPF they were supposed to pay homage to him today today they were supposed to converge come together hold hands and remember that gallant soldier and say Basata truly we miss you and thus and so etc that's what they were supposed to do but instead what we got from ECL was you know they, they went to the church service they sat through that service as a party they left the, 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 the church venue some of them walked to Embassy Park ECL drove there others you know hopped on vans and buses they finally got to the the grave site where Mr. Sata has been laying there for the past nine years and so here it is uh, La Lungu was finally called upon to speak and deliver a message to his supporters and in in the beginning of the speech he began to eulogize Vasata. he talked about he spoke about him flowingly and glowingly and floweringly he talked about how Vasata was a soldier he was a champion of democracy and so on and most of his speech most of Valungu's speech was basically inaudible I, I need you to know this and, and I think that this is very telling of the NPF you would think one would think that the NPF would at least invest a bit of money in their uh, audio system the sound system the sound system was poor president former president Lungu former and six president Lungu was basically inaudible you couldn't understand the thing he was saying his delivery was very poor his voice projection was almost not non-existent he for the most part was waffling up until the point he got to the stage where he was going to announce that he was he was making a return to active politics in his entire speech that was the only portion of the speech that was half audible when he said it is therefore listen to me he said pay attention he said therefore today I am announce after much prayer after much consultation after much gathering after much machinations it has come to my spirit that I will now return to active politics the moment he made that announcement the crowd 
that was gathered there that didn't hear anything he was saying prior to that point all of a sudden the crowd erupted in joy ecstasy and cataclysmic applause <sighs> and then Barubinda standing behind the ECO Barubinda nabo by katida ba ECO and and it's clear to me that none of the top brass knew what ECO was going to announce the only person who knew what ECO had hidden under his sleeve was ECO himself I can guarantee you I doubt I could be proven wrong but I doubt that even Mama Esther Lungo was aware of what ECL was going to announce today. I doubt she was aware. I doubt she knew because she wasn't even there. But when the ECL got to the point where he announced Kuti, I'm now, I've decided after much prayer, much consultation, much machinations, I've decided to return to active politics. In that moment, that was the only moment that the crowd heard. And because they heard that, they just erupted in uncontrollable, ecstatic applause. Balu, ba, ba given was so shocked he grabbed Balungu from behind and he was almost pushing Balungu ale uku ba given ba reseka na batemwa ba defwa no kudila why because ba given Lubinda's future is embedded in ECL's existence just like all these other chaps all these are Vena Rubinda, Vena Bowman, all these boys, their existence hinges upon ECL's existence. So it doesn't uh, surprise us when we see the ecstatic joy that emanated from given Lubinda the moment ECL announced that he is truly returning, returning to active politics. Now, let me explain what this means. And it's also very important for me to point out that after that announcement, and there was a crescendo of praise when he, he made that announcement. Remember, there was a big crescendo. People were, sh were shouting, dancing. And then, and then the ecstasy died down. And then we, people wanted to hear what ECL was going to say next. Microphone, yafwai, achita malfunction, katwishabe nyoko. Chachita kwati chafwa, chasotoka. Edo ba bachita tio iwe leta microphone imbi bachita ba kalungi shaka tusha fwa chita and then ECL uh, continued speaking. But from that point on, again, his delivery was weak. It was inaudible. It wasn't convincing. It was almost forced. One of the things that I've always noted about uh, former President Lungo is that when it comes to campaigning, he is not a convincing speaker uh, on stage. He's not. When you give him a microphone to deliver a campaign, uh, uh, to, to give a campaign delivery on stage in front of a crowd of people, that's not his strong suit. Balungu is woefully inadequate. Of course, when you are the president, these things are not, they're not obviously obvious because they're camouflaged in protocol and prepared text and sometimes being a president, in, in most cases, or in some cases, you speak in sound bites. You're given a prepared text, you deliver in a very controlled atmosphere. But when you are thrown to the wolves, when you are given, it's just you, a microphone, and the audience. Malungu does not know how to deliver a speech. He's a very, and I'm only, I'm only saying this because I consider myself to be a speaker because you know I studied this stuff. I went to school for this. Okay, so I, I, I sort of know what I'm talking about, uh, and and that is a very important ingredient to have. If you're going to be a presidential candidate, a presidential contender, 
that is something you need to have underneath your sleeve and and you need to invoke that at, at, at any given moment the moment it begins to feel labored it begins to feel laborious when you're you, he doesn't have sound projection you know when he speaks he speaks from his throat he doesn't speak from his diaphragm there is no conviction in his delivery so the whole delivery was a was a quagmire of inco incoherent babble that's what it was the only audible part of that delivery was when he said it is now my decision to come and to return to active politics that was the only part of the speech that was was that was audible okay as far as I could tell now let me let me explain what all this means uh, uh, first of all let me be clear this is one of the most catastrophic political decisions that six and former president Lungu has ever made and it will cost him dearly it will I, I, I stand with many Zambians when I say this and please hear me when I say this that the tsunami that will be unleashed post this announcement is going to be so devastating is going to be so catastrophic that former President Lungu will not be able to sustain himself through it. Are you hearing that? And you need to you need to let that sink in your spirit. Let that sizzle, let that marinate in your heart. And let me say that again because I think that's very important. The tsunami, the floodgates that six and former President Lungu has unleashed upon himself, his cohorts, his comrades, and his posse. The tsunami will be so overwhelming that they will not have the fortitude to withstand the devastating effects of it. My brothers and sisters, mark my words, this is the beginning of the end. This announcement that ECL has made, he will regret to live it, he will regret that he announced it for the rest of his life. Our history is clear. Zambia's history is replete with leaders, all the way from our first president. The moment they wanted to return to active politics after having served, and let's not lose sight of that, after having served, the moment they decide because their ego has been bruised, because their pride has been injured, because the truth is, this is what this is all about. The only reason ECL has, has made a comeback or has declared a comeback is because his ego has been bruised. It's because his, his, his integrity according to him, has been threatened. The reason ECL has announced a return to active politics is that he cannot stand, he cannot stomach the reality and the fact that Hagainde Hichilema is now the president of this country and ECL is not. That's what it's about. And when the dust settles and the dew dries, my brothers and sisters, mark my words, ECL will be a rumor, a rumor, and, and it didn't have to go this way, but unfortunately, that's the way it's going to go. Be prepared, be prepared for, for things to be difficult, and they will be difficult, because that's the price you pay. There's nothing in this world that ECL can attempt to do now that he didn't do when he served twice. There is nothing that ECL can do now that he can attempt to do after having been sworn in twice. And yes, you can argue and say, no, it's his constitutional right and all that blobbity blobbity blob. You can say that until your face turns blue. The truth is, there's nothing he can do now that he didn't do when he was president for two terms. So this whole exercise, this whole operation, 
is to achieve one goal unseat HH by any means necessary so that they can take back power and so that they can met out the vengeance and judgment that they've always planned but they never had the opportunity of doing why because the Zambian people put a stop to it that's why it's real you must say something so my brothers and sisters this is going to be a long road oh man this is the beginning of a very long road the train the train of catastrophe that you have released is so long that you will not be able to see or perceive the end of it and 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 i was i was disappointed to hear Ralungu say, I am willing to suffer the consequences of my actions. Well, at least you're right about that, ECL. At least you're right about that because there are consequences to this decision. There are consequences to this misguided guidance that you have been given. There are consequences and you and you alone will bear the brunt. Forget these supporters that you're talking to. The only thing they want from you is your money. That's all. Well, you think Bowman is with you because he's, he's a loyalist? No, Bowman wants to survive. You think, you think given Luvinda is standing beside you because he believes in your new vision for the country? No, it's because he knows that, your, that his existence is hidden in yours. That's all. So be prepared. Be prepared for hell because this is where it's going. Be prepared for catastrophe because this is where it's going. Be prepared for sleepless nights because this is where it's going. Be prepared to be woken up in the middle of the night by your loved ones and they say to you, Dad, husband, my dear, what have you decided to do? Why have you placed us in this compromising situation? We will know no peace. Be prepared because that's where it's going. All right. I thought I'd share that with you. Good night. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.